What happens when a variety of young talented ballers are spotted by scouts and are placed into an academy system when viewed as raw potential? We interview them of course. In this series, we will give you guys the realistic view of an academy player's lifestyle. To not only give you exclusive content, but to help you become a better player. So watch all the episodes and explore the depths of a football academy. Roll on the successful youngsters. Yes guys, it's Caden Session. Let's answer these questions by S5 Football and Goals World. Eight. We are less than 10,000 subscribers away from hitting the big milestone. 100,000. So if we can hit 10,000 views on this video and all 10,000 of you tap the subscribe button, we would achieve our goal. So please do so and share our channel so we can do this. Now let's get into the video. Our first club I played for was a team in Southwest London called Dope House Lions. So yeah, that was my first team. My biggest inspiration would probably be my uncles, Rams, Eden, Sesame, because uh, they're the reason uh, I got into football and where I am, really. I support Liverpool. Yeah, we're not doing too great at the moment. Best moment in football so far has been uh, probably signing my contract with Fulham when I was nine. So yeah, that was a big achievement for me. Uh, I started playing football when I was four in the pre-academy with Fulham. So yeah, that's yeah. I train four times a week. Each of them is two, uh, three hours long. Three hours long, and on the Sunday. Obviously, yeah, we have games. Uh, I obviously have to make sure I eat my good foods like before games, like a certain more certain amount of hours before. Make sure I go to bed on time. Make sure I'm eating the right foods. <coughs> uh, your lowest point in football? Uh, probably. I think it was last year when I was like, no, maybe like two years ago, I was injured with like my knee injury with Oscar, so it's so like growing pains pretty much. And like, yeah, it stops you, you have to be out for a while. Uh, where do you hope to see yourself in 10 years? Uh, probably say being at a big club, uh, playing for England, hopefully. That'll be a dream come true. Toughest opponent and toughest team you've played against? Uh, that's a good question. Probably the toughest team we play against in what I played against, like our team, probably be Arsenal or different teams in like, you know, like when you go on tour, like you got like the really good like technical teams in Germany and like France. But like in this country, I'd probably say like Arsenal and like there's two twins in Arsenal, I think, yeah, their names are Yap and Kyle. They're really good technically, so. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> your go-to meal before a match, probably pasta. Yeah, got like good carbohydrates in that, so yeah, I really like that. Pasta and chicken, maybe. Yeah, pasta and chicken. You always feel nervous before matches. You know what I mean? It's just like part of the game, but. You, I normally feel more nervous when it's like big cup games and stuff. So how I cope with it is like I bring the nervous like feeling into the game and play to like excited emotions so I can play well. What's your dream club to play for? Probably, probably a German team like Dortmund or Bayern Munich when I'm older. So yeah, the German league I said looks really good. What would you say is your strongest attribute? My strongest attribute would probably be going, I'm direct and I'm, I, like going, I like to go beat players, score goals, and yeah, I'm really good at finishing, so. What would you say to all the players out there struggling with their confidence? I'd probably say focus on yourself because people who lose their confidence are the ones who like look at other people and see what they're achieving. So number one thing is just focus on yourself and yeah, stay in your own lane. Thank you for taking the time to answer our questions, Caden. We hope you viewers learnt a lot from his answers. Stay tuned for the next episodes. There are much more to come.
Check out our last episode which was of Kai Rooney, if you haven't already, and of course don't forget to subscribe. You are watching SY Football and we're out. Boom.